What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, ABD Hero, back again with another video. And whoo, today we got a Jello Ball update. Um, there's been some traction happening up in Greensboro. We're gonna talk about potentially why that is. I want to get from you why you think it is. But um, let's just dig deep. Let's go. Triple B's, AB the Hero, back at it, baby. All right, first off, thank you for hitting that like button. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The like button, I said this before, the boy got a lot of a mouth on him, so when y'all tap on that head for me, you know what I'm saying, it's much appreciated. We are on the way to the 20,000 subscriber mark on the channel, and it's a big deal, and y'all are part of the culture, part of the community, and all of that good stuff, man. It's, it's much appreciated and gracefully appreciated. Let's get into the video now. A couple days ago, we seen Leangelo Ball get inserted into the starting lineup in Greensboro. Um, we starting to see him be featured a little bit more on the website. Him, Kai Jones. We 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 have already seen the teams around the G League really throw that Jello Ball in there to to help ticket sales and all of that stuff. But we starting to get that um, from this Greensboro team as well which is, it's, 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 a, it's a positive thing. I wanna make sure I say that. Him starting to get this light shined on him is a positive thing. This is what is confusing though. If we go back to the last day or uh, last game in January, we have um, Leangelo Ball coming off the bench, playing 14 minutes, 0 for 3 from the field, 0 for 3 from behind the arc. Not his best game, even though he had a plus minus of 11, right? So that tells us that while he was not scoring efficiently, he was on the court making some type of impact at least. Then we follow that up with a game in Cleveland where my man Leangelo comes off the bench again, um, two for six, one for three, uh, minus six, um, plus minus, still probably one of the best on the team because they, they struggle um, as a unit. But here's what's interesting. In this same game, the game ended like this for Leangelo. Uh, shot, shot, shots. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Three ball in the corner here. Backing up. And then this stuff in the way. But as you can see, twist the ankle, runs out of there, and uh, pretty much leaves the game after that and does not return. Um, why is this interesting? Because the following game, after having two not two games that were definitely not his best performance. What did we see from the swarm? Leangelo ball into the starting lineup, 16 minutes, a bit more minutes than we usually see from him. Still shooting not great, one for seven from the field, one for five from behind the arc. But in this game, if you watched it, that was a noticeable limp to that ankle, okay? conspiracy theorists were, were like, damn, how the, what happened? All of a sudden we went from barely getting minutes to the starting lineup. What is going on? What is going on? The questions are being asked. Follow that up. We got another game here where we bring Leangelo Ball once again into the starting lineup, 14 minutes, nothing crazy, nothing great, uh, especially when you see Arnold Gaboka with 28, Kai Jones with 39, 35, Joe Chile here was with eight minutes, and then you see a lot of guys playing heavy minutes off the bench. Leangelo once again, uh, uh, a, a better game per se, but not the game that we are used to seeing from him. However, here's what you get, a plus minus of 10, eight points, um, four boards, two for seven from behind the arc, and then it leads us to today's game. Today's game, we get Leangelo Ball in the starting lineup once again, seems to be a little bit more comfortable. And, and this is interesting too, because if you go to the Instagram, I should have had it pulled up, I don't today, but they had the starting lineup and he was not in the starting lineup. But according to the ball score, he uh, cracked the starting lineup today. 
So, 50% from behind the arc. Um, that's what, like 40 some percent from the field. A much better typical Jello shooting day um, with the 50% from behind the arc, 12 points, uh, three boards. And you look here and you go to that plus minus again. Jello Ball, JT Thor, only um, swarm members with a positive plus minus. So, what that would lead most of us to believe is that even though my guy's not scoring at the clip that we normally see him score at, um, at least he's being somewhat effective on the court. Now, we also got an uptick in minutes today at 23 minutes today. 23 minutes today, um, which is, I mean, the man normally is, if, if there's a game where he's playing a decent amount, it's between 11 and 14 minutes. So we saw that go up to 23 minutes. Um, if we check out some of the highlights from today's game, and shout out to, uh, What's his name? Ball Nation. This dude here be posting all of the highlights and stuff for Jello, um, Mello, probably Zo when he come back and all of that stuff. Um, and is pretty timely with doing it. So let's 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 just go into this. See what Jello got going. Angelo Ball quickly answers with a three of his own. Thor. This is ball again. That's rattling in and out. You can see he, he back to normal damn near. Okay, now you know that's cash. He wide open. Hold that thing up there, Jello. The Leangelo ball has always done well. Shot the three well. He has not missed of six from three. Leangelo ball uh, pass. Give it back. He wide open. You got to hit that. Cash and splash. Angelo Ball having him. All right. By the defender. Ball Wide by open. Got to knock him down. All right. Didn't hit it. With that one. For the magic. They throw a double at. Carson. They they gotta respect my guy. Cash and splash again. So we see here, your boy Leangelo look like he um is getting some better minutes at least and what i appreciate from what we just saw is that it seems like they're trying to pass in the ball obviously if we if we really get into it let me pull this back up um and, and look at the box score um one of the things that it's it's, it's so tough to to judge with uh this is angelo ball situation i mean my man got nine shots of attempts today uh, four for eight. We seen him shooting the three ball deep into the fourth quarter. So uh, four for eight for the total game, and that's that's pretty solid. But when you got a guy who's shooting at the clip that he's shooting at, I guess to me you want to see. I want to see him shoot more. I want to see y'all create plays, have him come off screens, and and, and really get that going. Um, if we really look at that footage, a lot of those plays seem like obviously he's in a right position but you know what i mean and now they're all of a sudden they're kicking him the ball and getting him involved but i would have loved to seen him uh you know what i'm saying like we watch in the summer league first play screen screen catch and shoot around the arc bang you know what i mean that type of activity that's what i want to see from him moving forward now here's the conversation that we gotta have why is this happening? And this is what I want to get from y'all in the comment section. Let me know why now, right? We saw that initially that the two games before him cracking the starting lineup, it wasn't like those was his best games of the season. He was just shooting out of the, the lights out and they were like, yo, we got to move Jello to the starting lineup. Let me know why you think that is, all right? Drop that in the comment section. I'm gonna tell you some theories that I've been hearing and then some of them that I think might have some validity to. Um, one, the as the G League season goes on, um, folks are realizing that the hustle of just having Leangelo on the team to, to get some notoriety or, or, you know what I mean, sell some tickets or have other teams, you know what I mean, have people show up, that is starting to not work as much, right? People are like, y'all not even gonna play. I, I know dudes who bought courtside, flew into games, bought courtside seats hoping that they were gonna watch Jello play and he didn't even touch the court, right? So that hustle of using him for, for you know what I mean, to generate revenue is, is kind of not working as much anymore. So folks is like, you know what, bro? We got a plan. 
Theory number two is that as we're looking at this Hornets team, struggle from behind the arc. Is there some conversation of like, yo, we may need a shooter. It is time to enact Jello. We got some guy, we got chemistry issues up with the Hornets organization. If you haven't seen all those videos, go check those out. We got chemistry issues. We got three point shooting issues. Maybe we could start to get him into the offense a bit, start to teaching him, start to getting him ready to, to make an appearance or a debut on the Hornets organization. Theory number three is just his time. You did what we asked you to do. You didn't complain. You came off the bench. You played minimal minutes. People left. People came back. Your um, stake in the organization slowly climbed as you become more of a priority. And, and as that happened, now here's your turn to shine, right? We developed guys here. You you did what you were supposed to do. You did what we asked for you to do. And then now you get a chance to get the minutes. Those are the three theories that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking could possibly be true. Um, let me know in the comment section of this video, what do you got? What do you think? Are you excited to see my guy LiAngelo Ball finally getting some minutes or or I don't know. I don't know what you would be outside of excited for him right now. Um, I just want to see him keep hooping, keep getting better. I want to see a 30-minute game, see what it really can do when they when they semi-feature him in that offense. Shemay, man, ABD, roll him out. Peace. No, not peace. Plus one, triple B's, we out.